Previously on the bill. Ow! So unless your friend has better judgment than mine, she could be walking up the aisle with a murderer. Mr. Campbell! He's a killer! He killed the woman I loved! That wedding is not going ahead. I'm going to find out where and when it's happening, and I'm going to stop him. Doing my job. Oh, you bum. For honey. Now, it don't mean I agree with it, but we've got to do something, haven't we? I suppose you're right. I'm not going to the wedding, though. And you and the rest of the relief. I feel bad about it. Oh, sweet. Do they have one in handcuffs? I can't believe she's going to marry Scott with the murder case still open. Everyone's saying you did it. Yeah, well, you should know better than to listen to people around here. I thought MIT had something on him yesterday. It was a misunderstanding. He didn't get charged with it, did he? <laughs> Usually is the husband, though, isn't it? Especially if Scott knows his wife was seen his best mate. Have you seen Steve? I was on a shout, I think, Sarge. Would you? Well, when you see him, tell him I'm after him. Who is it? What do you want? It's all right. I'm alone. I just want to talk. I've got nothing to say to you. Look, Hunting and Scott's wedding's their business. Are you serious? Scott fitted me up with his wife's murder. He was getting it together with your colleague while I was in prison. Doesn't mean you've got the right Listen, to go and mate, do it. Listen, mate. Hunting is going to marry a man who murdered his wife. There's no proof of that. I found out the wedding's taking place today. Yeah, that's right. That mutual friend I was telling you about caved in and told me. You're not going to stop it. If she's really a friend of yours, you should stop this marriage yourself. But you won't, because Scott's taken a lot of you for a bunch of suckers. So it looks like I'm going to have to do it. No, you can't. Or what? You're going to arrest me? Get off my property. Nasty cut you got there, mate. Yeah, thanks for that, nutter. At least I'm not a complete idiot. That's enough! I want in charge for this. What's your name? Clive Manning. You're going to need to go to the hospital with that, Mr Manning. Did you do this? Well, come on, it's not like there aren't any witnesses. Yeah, yeah, all right, I did it, but I was provoked. What's your name? Martin Cormack. I run this team. Oh, very responsible. And who are you, the referee? No, I'm Declan Manning's father. Who? You haven't heard of him yet, but you will do. He's got a premiership trial tomorrow. Hang on, this is all over a game of football? Yeah, it seems he still thinks Declan's one of his under-16s, wants him to play tonight. And that's a problem, why? He's turned pro. He can't be acted about in an amateur game. So I need his registration papers back now. Yeah, all right, <laughs> calm down. Why is this game so important, Declan? It's a big game for all of us. We've been I'm waiting. talking to Declan, not you. We get promoted if we win. Uh, they, Dick, not we. It's pretty important for them. Promotion means more equipment, more money. So the other lads get the same opportunities Declan's getting. Isn't it up to Declan who he plays for? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what about it, Dec? For the team? Dec, you've got to put your career first. This is big boys' rules now. Well? I'm sorry, Mr Cormack. I can't risk picking up injury. Spoken like a true pro. Ten years, Declan. I taught you everything you know. Thanks a lot. Do you still want to pursue the complaint, Mr Manning? No. Let bygones be bygones, eh? You'll bring his registration papers round later, then. Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Lads, come on. You'd have thought people their age would be able to keep a handle on their emotions, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Are you OK, Gabriel? Because if this is I'm about... I'm fine, thanks. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Adam, the builders reckon it's going to be okay for the reopening tomorrow. Great. Uh, sorry, bad moment. Yes. Okay, okay. Sorry, Gina. 
been a ton of stuff on at the moment. My head's all over the place. How are you feeling today? Me, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Well, Smithy told me about the incident at the auction house yesterday. It sounded like you were quite winded. Well, that... I'm fine, really. Great. Oh, Smithy. I thought you might stay at home today. I mean, didn't the hospital tell you to get some rest? Please, spare me the lecture. Actually, what I was going to say, I respect your decision. I think you're dealing with your cancer really well, and it's great to have you around. Thank you very much. But we won't hear any more about it, will we? Not a word. Amber, come in. I want you to stay here today for your shift. Keep an eye on the inspector. Why? What's going to happen to her here? Look, I'm just worried about her, that's all. She's seriously ill and she's too proud to take any time off work. Just try not to make it look obvious. Sarge. Right. Are you going to hold these drinks later, sir? Yeah, I suppose I should. Just for one, what about you? I don't know. I think it's a bit fun, though. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Hey, Vaughn, stay. Sarge, I just need to have a look. Yeah, look, all that can wait. Look, I've got a couple of urgent statements from CPS member. A family on Whitson Road who dealt with the initial arrest. Yeah, right. Uh, oi! Today would be nice. Lance will take you. Just two secs, please, Sarge. No, do it now. What are you doing in anyway? Let's just go somewhere a bit more private, yeah? <sighs> Sunhill Taxis, that's your service. Cheers. Sorry, mate, limo's in the garage. Eddie here in Sierra Oscar, break in at 7 Whitson Road, informant at Jamie Cormack. Anyone deal? Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 4, show us dealing, Dean. Actually, guys, Whitson's Road's miles from where I need to be, so I'll get the next one, OK? I'm trying to get hold of you all day. Yes. I've been tied up. I've sent messages, texts. Why haven't you got back to me? So my mobile's been playing up. Come on, Yvonne. Look, I know what everybody thinks about me and Scott, but I thought you'd be supportive. Look, Scott's asked an old mate of his from uni to be a witness, and I was hoping you'd be mine. I don't know. The um, thing is, I'm supposed to be on this course. What course? Diversity training. I would try and get out of it. Well, you'll come for a drink afterwards, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Cool. I'll see you later on then. Jamie Cormack? Yeah, I came home just now and found the back door smashed in. And the intruder's still on the premises? He's in the front room. Jamie? Jamie, what's going on? We've been called about disturbance at this address, sir. You the owner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? There's someone in there, Dad. I didn't know when you were going to get back, so I rang the police. You what? I'll handle it, sir. Just give me the keys, yeah? That one there. Laura, around the back. What the hell are you doing? Looking for Declan's registration card. I said I was going to give it to you, didn't I? Do you know this man? Yes, Clive Manning. He's some place for the team I coach. Uh, used to. Where's his card, Cormac? Hang on. That doesn't explain why you forced your way in here. Look, look, I'll pay for the ruddy door, OK? And your dozy kid didn't need to call the police. I'm only here for what belongs to me. Forget it, mate. You ain't walking over me like you do your son. You can arrest him, right? If you want to prosecute. Oh, yeah. And he's seen everything. He can make a statement. Oh, yeah. And I want him arrested, too. For this. He did this. You are PC Murphy. Don't worry, I will. As soon as we get you to the station. Come on. I'm arresting suspicion of burglary. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention... Jamie, come something on. Something which relates to your mind. Jamie, come on! Anything you do, say may be given in evidence. Yvonne, what did Honey want? She wants me to go to the wedding. She's asked me to be a witness. It looks like she might have another guest to worry about. An uninvited one. Greg Campbell. He knows about the wedding. You didn't tell him. He uh, sort of worked it out. What? Yvonne, he says he's going to stop the wedding. What are we going to do about it? and Scott. A mutual friend, isn't it? I kind of let it slip out that they were getting married, though. Steve! It was an accident. I thought he knew already. Does he know where the wedding is? I don't know. I didn't tell him, but his friend might have. It doesn't matter. He's going to phone around every registry office until he finds out. I can't believe this is happening. Would it be the end of the world if he did turn up? 
And what do you mean by that? I'm just asking. You don't want Honey to go ahead with it either. Steve, we had Greg Campbell in custody a few weeks ago on a murder charge. Who knows what he's capable of? I tried reasoning with I him. I don't believe that you told him. I thought you cared about Honey. I do. Well, then prove it. Right. OK, well, Honey's getting ready at Scott's and I'm about to knock off, so I'll go home, throw something nice on and get round there. You go back to Greg's and you stop him leaving. But what if I can't? That is not an option, Steve. Do what you have to do. Anything. Yeah, they were at each other's throats earlier. Something to do with the football match. Well, it's attempted burglary now. Who's the kid? Jamie Cormack. He's here to give a witness statement. His dad's very keen, he does. All right, Jay. May John's come with me. So I have to do this, then? Yes, and tell him everything you saw, all right? Everything. Aren't you in the football team as well, Jamie? Uh, sort of. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's our number one substitute. <laughs> but it's just going to take much longer. I mean, it's match day and the boys need me. It'll take as long as it takes. <sighs> Joe, do you mind if I sit in? Joe. I'll see you in Seattle. Honey? Honey, are you there? Honey, look, are you okay? Can you open the door, please? Mum, well, what are you doing here? I just thought you might like some support after what you said earlier. So, thank you. Come in. He was after Declan's registration papers. It's what? You have to show them to match officials before you can play. It verifies your age and all that. But why would Mr Manning break into your house for them? Because he's obsessed. They all are. I thought you liked football, Jamie. I used to. Before my dad decided he preferred it to his family. And what did your mum say about that? Not much. She left. Just after we lost the semi-final for the regional under-16s cup. It was a big day, that one. Was Declan playing? Of course. Declan's always playing. Until today? Yeah, until today. But your dad's not happy about that, is he? Understatement of the year. So, why stay in the team if you hate it so much? Because if I didn't, he'd forget he had a son at all. It's better than nothing, isn't it? So what happened to your course? Well, I figured I had a pretty good understanding of diversity already, so... You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Not having a second thought, so? No, not at all. I just didn't imagine that I'd feel so lonely, you know, getting ready on my own <laughs> on my wedding day. Yeah. Hey, but you're here now. You have no idea how much better that makes me feel. <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna make a quick call, yeah? Are you there yet? Yeah, he's still inside the house. The car's still here. Just make sure he stays there, yeah? Yeah. Mr Campbell, where are you going? Out of my way, PC Hunter. I'll do you for harassment. Look, just think about this. What's he going to achieve? Scott should be doing a life sentence for murder, not going off on a honeymoon. You were both in frame. The truth is there's no evidence against either of you. But I know I didn't do it, which means he did. You're not going to the wedding. 759 from Sierra Oscar. Receiving. I'm waiting for that witness statement, Steve. Yeah, I'm on way with it now, Sarge. Off you go then. Sarge is waiting. Like I said, you're not going anywhere. You can't do that! I'm warning you, it's an offence to drive that vehicle. You've got to be kidding me. Greg uh, Campbell, I'm arresting for obstructing a police officer. What? Uh, uh, get off me! Uh, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you fail to mention one question, something you later rely on in court. Oh, well, Gary, what happened about Clive Manning? Oh, we've had to bail both of them so we get some advice on these registration papers. Mr Manning's claiming that they're rightfully is, and Joe's talking to the Football Association. Could go either way. Game of two halves. You blokes. You need to get a life. I'm happy with what I've got, thanks. Sheila, somebody out front to see you. Mr Manning. Right. Here you go, mate. Working away for that little look. Uh, I'm not a secretary. Well, it's round his post, and as she's not here. Oh, that's the way the DI assumes we can take on her workload. We're short-staffed enough already. 
Will Romney do the same for you? This will get this day. Now, which muggins will be clearing Romney's desk when we move offices tomorrow? Dina, sorry, unscheduled meeting, Barton Street, you know the drill. I just had to tell Denise I can't pick up the kids. I'll be back in an hour or so. Now, come on. Don't touch me. I'm not going in there. Come on. 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 Why is Inspector Gold dealing with that arrest? I kept you here to look out for her, not to run the risk of her getting knocked about again. Sergeant, a word. You told me that you respected my decision to stay at work. Yeah, I do. Respected it enough to tell Amber to watch over me like a mother hen? I was acting in your best interest. I'll decide what my best interests are. I know you're trying to help, Smithy, but I can't cope with you wrapping me in cotton wool and waiting for me to fall apart. I just can't handle it. It's not my way. I just want you to be all right. Yeah, well, I am fighting this, and I've got to be strong. You know, I can't waste my energy fighting you as well. No. No, I'm sorry. OK. Let's consider the matter closed, shall we? Chop, chop. Terry, yeah. Do you have a word? Yeah. I was going through Romani's post and I came across these. It's some kind of antidepressant. Yeah, I've been bought on the internet by the look of it. Okay. I'll be sure to let her know. Thanks. Well, I didn't realise, you know, I mean, I'm sure she must know her post gets opened. Oh, yeah, um. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's a mistake. I'll sort it out. Okay. Declan's 15, Mr. Manning. Kids his age go AWOL all the time. It doesn't mean he's been abducted. Cormac's taken him against his will to play in a semi final. Do you have any evidences with Mr. Cormac? Why do you think he was holding on to Declan's registration papers? You heard him earlier. He wants him to play in that match tonight. You can't force a boy to play football. Cormac did this to me right in front of Declan. He knows Dec won't stand up to him after that. The man's a bully. He's obsessed. Now, are you going to do something about it this time, or do I have to sort him out for myself? All right. Come on, we'll check it out. Steve, what's going on? This is a fit-up. I want my lawyer here now. Greg Campbell arrested for obstructing a police officer. He's done this to stop me going to Scott Burnett's wedding. Ask him what he was doing outside my house. I'd like a word with you, PC Hunter. Honey. Wow, you look amazing. Um, well, we're a bit early. I don't care, as long as we're here. Yeah. Just wish the circumstances could have been different. It's over now. This is our chance to put everything behind us. Ha! Ah, the new Mrs. Bonnet, I presume. Honey, this is Gavin. He's our other witness and my best mate. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is Yvonne. My best mate. Pleased to meet you. Scott's told me all about you. I'm really happy for you. So, what do you think? Doesn't she look beautiful? You'd better have a good explanation for this. I was on my way to get a CPS statement, Sergeant. Then I came across Mr Campbell intending to drive an unroadworthy vehicle. I tried to stop him, but he continued to enter the car, so I nicked him. Are you totally off your head? Greg Campbell has just been cleared of Karen Burnett's murder. We'll be lucky if he doesn't do us for harassment. Yeah, I know, Scott. I haven't got a clue what you think you're playing at, but you don't do it by bringing him back here. Now get him released now. Sarge. PC Hunter. I'm letting this go. But if you ever let your personal life interfere with your work as a police officer again, I'll have no choice but to report you. Do you understand me? Now get him released. Looks like you're free to go, Mr. Campbell. Well, there's a surprise. Mr. Campbell needs a lift to his home address. No, it's all right. I'll make my own way. Thanks. Sarge, Caleb just had a report of a traffic collision off the corner of Darrow Road and Wells Avenue. Right, OK. Let's go. Brief me on the way. Sure. Registrar says they're running a bit late. 
It's only the four of us, so it doesn't make much difference. I suppose not. Still hard to get my head round. Thinking of Scott without Karen. Do you think he's doing the right thing? Scott's a good mate. He's not asking me to judge, just be here. Fair enough. Excuse me. Steve? Greg's on his way. You're kidding! I told you! To. Yeah, well, I did try, okay? Have they started yet? No. No, they're running late. But I need you to get here as quickly as you can. Right, I'm on my way. When did this happen? About ten minutes ago, sir. We've only just got here. Have traffic been informed? They're tied up on another job. We'll get back onto them. If this junction's out, there'll be cars backed up for miles. Sir? I better go. I'm late for my next meeting. There were two kids in the car. Both have gone to St Hughes. One died en route. The female driver's still tracked. Just in the super. He wants us to chase up traffic. I've already done that. They're on their way. I'm going to preserve all of this until they get here. You get onto cab and try and ID the driver, all right? Sure. Yeah, See Oscar from 363. I need to check on two vehicles involved in the RTC. Go ahead. Yankee 151, Yankee Hotel Mike. Stand by. What happened to the other driver? Uh, gone to hospital. Walking, but pretty shaken up. Yvonne! Any sign? No, no thanks to you. I arrested him for sergeants with me, let him go. Oh, just save it, okay? Right now, I need you to stay here and stop him coming in. And don't mess up again. I suppose. I'll pick it up myself and stand off. They're taking ages. Sierra Oscar. Go ahead, Dean. Current keeper, shown as Mrs. D. Acaro. Acaro? I'm cross checking the address we'll be now. Back now. Do the game, do the game. That's the superintendent's wife. <laughs> Superintendent is here just now. Dean's phoning him. Mrs. Akaro, Mrs. Akaro, we're going to get you out as soon as we can. The children. They've gone to the hospital. 363 from Sierra Oscar. My husband. He works at Sun Hill. Mrs. Akaro, we know that. I can't get hold of Superintendent Okaro. He's not answering his mobile phone. Well, did he say where he was going? Just a meeting. He didn't say where. Where's Declan? How should I know? Where is he? I'm warning you, Cormac. You're not putting this game above his career. And I'm telling you, I haven't seen him. Won't be a match anyway at this rate. Doors are locked from the inside. But haven't you got the keys? No. That's the trophy cabinet. Son. Jamie! 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 Open the door, please, mate. Come on. Jamie, what the hell are you doing? The lads are waiting out here. Good. Let them wait. What? KFC's all you care about. All right, Jamie, just calm down. All right. I'll open the door if you can answer me two questions. Okay. Declan Manning's birthday. When is it? Declan, why is he bringing him in? September the 16th, why? He's got him in there. And mine? When is mine? Uh, February 7th. No, 8th, 8th, it's the 8th. It's cute, Peg, I can see it. Declan! Declan! Jamie, let him out of you silly little idiot! This is your fault. So busy with a team you haven't even noticed your own son's a psycho. You want to look to your own family before you start on mine, pal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shut it, oh, yeah. the pair of you. I'll check round the back. Okay. Jamie! Yeah. Mum, how can I get hold of Superintendent Akaro at his meetings? Is that a problem? 
His wife and kids have been involved in a serious car accident. Their car was hit, turning right at a junction, side impact from a fall before. Both kids went to St Hughes, one died on the way. <sighs> Mrs Akara? Still trapped in the car. The fire crew have been trying to get her out for an hour. Mr Akara is not answering his mobile. We've left a message for him to go straight to the hospital. He said he was going to a meeting at Barn Street or something. Get someone to check his diary. Mom. Jamie! Go away! I mean it! Don't come any closer! He's gone nuts! Shut up! You all right, Declan? Yeah. I'll stay right here, Jamie. I want to talk to you, that's all. I've got nothing to say. It's not Declan's fault, though, is it? I didn't ask him to be here, did I? I came early to warm up. Why? You're not on the flipping team anymore. You don't have to do what he says. I bet you spent quite a bit of time growing up in this place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't have been easy being the coach's son. You've no idea. I'm listening. There was always someone I was never as good as. If it wasn't Declan, it was someone else. It's like he seeked out people that were better than me. And when he looks at you, what does he see? Nothing. Yeah, I know. However hard you try, it's not good enough, is it? You get used to being invisible. Seeing yourself like some kind of mistake. But you can't live with it, can you? So you lash out. Hurt people. It doesn't make you feel any better, though, does it? But I feel something. But what you really want is your dad to look at you. Just once. And actually see you. Yeah. And to say that you're all right. You're all right just the way you are. I was never any good at football. I'm rubbish at it. But that's all he wants from me. Me and Deck, when we were kids, we were mates. Best mates. Just like our dads. And then that stupid game came in and... I just wasn't good enough anymore. You know what, Jamie? You got more guts than Declan? And those other kids out there, fitting in. Well, that's easy. All your choices are made for you. But standing up against your dad, doing something different with your life, and that takes real courage. And if he can't see you for what you are, then it's him that's losing out. Give me the knife. Come on. Let's go. So how is she? She's conscious. Oh. Denise. Denise. Gina. We're going to get you out of here. You're doing really well. Where's Dad? Yeah, um, I'll be along soon. He was supposed to pick up the kids. Stay with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I never really talked to you and me. No. Adam thinks a lot of you. Oh, the feeling's mutual. I never knew if he had any regrets. Oh, come on. We were over a long time ago. You've given him a lot more than I could have. Oh! Oh! Come on, Tony. Give him some kid. Sarah Oscar from 5 4. Any news on the superintendent yet? Not yet, Sergeant. Oh. The car left this meeting at Barton Street about quarter to five. Do we know where he's heading next? And yeah, we're checking his diary now.
You're okay. Not hurt at all. No, I'm, I'm fine. What's going to happen to him? Hopefully they'll lock him up and throw away the key. That's up to the CPS. Come on, we still need to get all your registration papers. Uh, I've got them, Dad. You have? Martin gave them to me. I, I came here of my own accord, no one made me. I want to play for Canley FC, my team. See? No, you don't. That bloke was right. Everyone wants a piece of me. It takes guts to say you can't have it. Everyone okay? I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Honey Louise Harmon, may not be joined in marriage to Scott William Burnett. Scott's a murderer! Why can't you see that? If you like it so much, why can't you help me to stop this? Because I've got no right to. You're right. I'm wasting my time. If there's anyone here present who knows a reason why these persons cannot lawfully marry, then declare it now. Did you really think he'd get away with this? Cross, what's he doing here? Stop! Oh. Come on, son. You were brilliant back there, Gabriel. You really got through to him. Martin Cormac's got a lot to answer for. He let down a kid, they stay let down for life. You know about that, don't you? Maybe I do. It's okay, you can talk to me about it. What is it? I'm just not sure about this. About us. <sighs> Gabriel, it was one case, that's all. But we make a good team. Let's not lose that. No. Let's not. It's just bruised, he's fine. Your colleague's taking Campbell off to cool down. Look, he was close behind. You all right there, mate? What is going on, Yvonne? Why was Steve here? It's not what you're thinking. He didn't want any of this to happen. I'm sorry, I have to get on. And in the circumstances... But just two more minutes, please. We're running late. The next couple are waiting. I am sorry. <laughs> Honey! You still want to arrest me, copper? No, I never want to see you again. Don't worry, you won't. I wish I could believe that. No, I mean it. I've done what I came to do. Think she got the message, don't you? Oh, yeah, you made your case very convincingly. I'm sure Honey will think over carefully and decide you're completely off your head. Yeah, we'll see. Just don't expect a long and happy marriage. Those two are doomed. You know it. Steve didn't do it deliberately. Yeah, but he did tell Greg. It was an accident. He's been trying to undo it all day. Oh, thanks, Yvonne. You could have warned me. We 
thought we could stop him. So that's why he came. It wasn't because you wanted to see me get married. Honey, I'm sorry. How stupid was I to think you'd be here for me today when nobody else is? This was the simplest wedding I could have had and it still goes wrong. You can arrange another one. I don't want to arrange another one. Well, I don't know about you, but... I need a drink. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Honey, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. No, if I... If I just waited. Could have given you a proper wedding. I didn't want that. Why well, do I have to meet you now? A year or two on and they'd have left us alone. Yeah, well, I didn't help matters. What are you talking about? You're the only thing that makes it bearable. Really? Yeah, of course. Honey, yesterday in that cell, you were all I could think about. You know, even if they charged me, I knew I'd be okay. As long as I had you. Well, nothing's changed, is it? Me and you, we're still here. What do you mean? We came here to get married, so let's do it. One more, please. I'm sorry. I'm a police officer. Now, I insist you open these doors or marry me. As long as you're quick. Go on. It'll have to be quick. I've been stuck Sir. in traffic. Yeah, we've been trying to get hold of you. I left my mobile phone behind. Sir, your wife's been involved in an accident. You need to go to St. Hugh's. An accident? What are you saying? Are they hurt? You really need to go to the hospital, sir. She's got a fractured pelvis, and her daughter is in the operating theatre. What? Yeah, she's broken her leg and lost a lot of blood, and didn't regain consciousness since the crash. <sighs> Where's Malcolm? Um, uh, look, the paramedics tried to help him at the scene of the crash, and I'm sorry, 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 but he never made it. Was he? Did he suffer? He never woke up. I need to see him. Of course. And they are. There'll be somebody I need to speak no, to. No, no, we'll go to the operating theatre in a minute. Denise is waiting for you. Right. Right. Well, listen to me. Denise doesn't know about Markham. And they're waiting at the moment on the x-rays and the scan. Doctors think it best to keep her calm. were beautiful. Scott wrote them himself. The same ones he used when he married Karen. Greg's gone. I'm pretty sure he won't bother you again. Thanks. I better have a word with Honey. No, I think you've caused enough trouble. I just want to clear the air. No, what you want doesn't come into it. Honey's not your concern. We work together. You can't stop us being mates. Have a look over there, Steve. She's my wife now. There's no need for you anymore. Excuse me. I didn't know. The children. 
go now. I don't want them to be on their own. Definitely. I think all weddings should have a good bunch of. Nice. <laughs> they might have to thrash him at footy before he loses his social skills completely. Go on, then. Come on. <laughs> I'll give Lance a call because he's supposed to be coming down. Oh, leave it. It's fine, just us. I don't want anybody else here. I'm really glad it came. Does that mean you changed your mind about Scott? You think he's right for you? That's all that matters. Since when? I made the same mistake with Kerry. I didn't like what she was doing and we drifted apart. But all that meant was that we both lost out. I don't want to be that stupid again. I'm not like Kerry. I'm going to be all right. I know. Scott makes you happy. I can see that. younger now. I missed her this morning. The kids were both in bed. I can't remember the last time we spoke. They're older now. I guess so. You just see them in passing. it all in. I've been living on promises, saving up all the time I missed. I always thought I'd get another chance. You ought to get back to Denise. How am I going to tell her? The children are what she does it all for without them. She's got you. I 
I don't know if I'm enough. Got to be. You've got to be strong for her. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Caro, you need it urgently. Right, can you carry on with CPR and go up another version of adrenaline, please? Confirm that she's still in asystole. This is not looking very positive. Edward, you agree? Thank you, Edward. Time of death, 1852. We're really sorry, sir. Denise? She's dead, Gina. They're all dead. Next time on The Bill. My family are dead. And she can't remember anything. She must be responsible. If you're not going to find out what happened to them, I will. You killed my family. The least you can do is talk to me. No. I'm coming in. <laughs>